According to the pathologist, people asked, was she beautiful? Was she peaceful? Was she pregnant? Princess Diana's death is possibly one of the biggest scandals of our time. Her manner of death was, if anything, suspicious, and the possibility of murder has never been ruled out. After all these years, the question persists. Was Diana murdered? New shocking details have come to light, suggesting she was murdered by the royal family for being pregnant. How much of it is true? You're about to find out in this video. Who hasn't heard of Princess Diana, possibly one of the most beloved figures in the world? She came into the spotlight when she married the Prince of England, Charles. But the love she amassed from the people had nothing to do with the royal title. She was beloved for her kindness and her charity. Everyone was left numb and heartbroken when on the night of August 31st, 1997, Diana passed away in a car crash. Now 25 years after her death, the rumors regarding Diana's death are as widespread as the day she passed. In fact, a new detail has emerged. Remember Dodi Al-Fayed? He was the son of the billionaire Mohammed Al-Fayed and Diana's lover who died in the car with her. Dodi's father has finally spoken about the death of his son and he has rather shocking revelations. Mohammed Al-Fayed says the real reason for the death of both is that they were killed because she was expecting his child. Fayed is fully convinced that his son and Diana were being spied on. He even claimed American intelligence agents used satellites to eavesdrop on the conversation Diana and Dodi were having in their vehicle and the audio allegedly revealed the couple were expecting a child together. Mohammed thinks they were murdered because it was unacceptable to the royal family that she has a child with a Muslim man. He insisted in the interview, the truth will come out one day. Evidence will show she was having a child by my son. I believe Diana and Dodi were murdered because she was expecting a baby with a Muslim. Mohammed is convinced, and so is half the world, that the whole reason behind the possible assassination was because Diana could have been pregnant with a Muslim man's child. Mohammed said that the royal family could not accept that an Egyptian Muslim could eventually be the stepfather of the future King of England, and so it plotted to kill her off. The speculations about Diana's pregnancy had started weeks earlier during a trip to France. After Diana made some mysterious comments about a big surprise, everyone naturally assumed it was going to be a pregnancy announcement. But even after this, there wasn't much confirmation. There was no sign of pregnancy during the post-mortem examination. Further tests on Diana's blood found there was no sign of pregnancy there either. And there's no evidence even that Diana suspected she may be pregnant. Numerous close friends and others said that her menstrual cycle was normal, that she was using contraception, and that she hadn't mentioned even the possibility of being pregnant to her confidants. Even at a time when Diana wasn't pregnant for sure, she thought the royal family planned on killing her. She even wrote a letter to her butler in which she explicitly shares her fears. She wrote in the note, I am sitting here at my desk today in October, longing for someone to hug me and encourage me to keep strong and hold my head high. This particular phase in my life is the most dangerous, is planning an accident in my car, brake failure and serious head injury in order to make the path clear for Charles to marry. When Diana wrote the letter, she had experienced problems with her car and voiced fears about them. Her bodyguard had died in an accident that she believed had been a conspiracy. Mohammed is extremely angry still at how the accident was managed after the car crash. The way Diana and Dodie's bodies were treated after the accident make it seem even more suspicious. If Diana's body had been sent for an autopsy as expected, the truth would have been revealed regarding her being pregnant or not. But apparently, that wasn't the case at all. Mohammed says even Diana's organs were removed almost immediately after she was pronounced dead. He continued, pathologically there was no evidence that Princess Diana was pregnant, but some women say they know they're pregnant from the moment of conception. 
Was she one of those? This claim by Dodie's father doesn't align with what the pathologist Dr. Richard Shepard had proclaimed after the official inquiry after her death. He said she hadn't been pregnant as far as he could tell by his report. Mohammed isn't so easily convinced by these inquiries that happened at the time of death. According to Mohammed, there are more than 100 classified documents and tapes documenting the affair between the two in a vault at Fort Meade, allegedly the clandestine headquarters of the National Security Agency, NSA. These tapes, according to Doty's friend, would reveal everything from Diana's relationship with Doty to the pregnancy. A friend of Doty claimed that they were planning to get married and Doty had bought her an engagement ring, which the tapes will reveal. Diana's pregnancy wasn't the only reason why the royal family had decided to take such extreme measures to eliminate the couple. According to the same friend, these tapes even had Diana's opinion about Philip, saying they also contain highly sensitive conversations in which she opines about her former father-in-law, Prince Philip, and details of her previous affair with Major James Hewitt. They are the only way left to prove that Diana was expecting Dodie's child. Mohammed refuses to stay quiet about the death of his son and Diana, and the possibility that it could have all been a planned murder by none other than Diana's former husband and the father of her children. Mohammed is now reportedly asking the NSA to give the audio recordings to the new royal coroner, Dr. Michael Burgess, who is said to delve back into the matter of Diana death. Will his efforts be fruitful and will the family be finally revealed? Only time can tell. Diana's death was surrounded by conspiracies from the start. For some people, what happened that night wasn't simply a tragic accident. Instead, it was the result of some kind of conspiracy conducted secretly by agents of the British state or something else they claim. Those conspiracies were so convincing and so widespread, helped by the Daily Express and the Egyptian businessman Mohammed Al-Fayed, that the Met Police were forced to launch Operation Page, an inquiry to establish whether there was any truth in the theories. Even though the inquiry concluded that the car crash was nothing but an unfortunate accident, people refused to believe it. Many people think all these conspiracies are not just untrue, but that they fueled the death themselves. One person took to Twitter to share his views regarding these conspiracies that never stopped coming. He wrote in his tweet, I hate conspiracy theories. Let's clear one up. Royals did not murder Princess Diana. The BBC are to blame. Martin Bashir faked documents that led Diana to believe security services were spying on her. She sacked her police drivers and had to rely on whatever else was available. In his tweet, he also attached a picture that says that 10 months before her death, Princess Diana wrote a note to her butler stating her belief that Prince Charles was planning to kill her and make it look like an automobile accident. People are quickly jumping to believe Muhammad's accounts of the events. Some of them took to social media to share their rage and frustration at Diana's untimely demise. One Twitter user wrote, They were afraid Diana would have a half-breed child with Dodi Fayed, and they would have children. At her death, they pregnancy checked her even. SMH, worried Harry and William would have a brown skin half sibling. Hashtag facts, there was no accident. Other people aren't so entirely sure. Some say they had just not been enough time in Diane and Dodie's relationship. One person insisted this to be the case in his tweet and said, Diana had just got into a relationship with Dodie Fayette at this stage, and the suggestion it quickly progressed to engagement and pregnancy is ludicrous. Looks like the racism rampant in the royal family isn't a new or recent issue. The driving force behind Diana's alleged murder could have very well been because of her lover being an Egyptian Muslim man. Hopefully, Mohammed Al Fayed's efforts will be fruitful, and the truth about Diana's death will finally see the light of day. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.